I just want one day of the year in which staff are allowed to say and do whatever the fuck they want to customers without getting in shit over it. Just one day of the year is all I want so I can replace take care with now fuck off you gargoyle. That and I really want to see the look on a rude customer's face when I vault the counter and drop kick them straight into the jugular. <laughs> So another typical transaction. All is going smoothly. Customer decides to pay in cash. Cool, not a problem. You put out your hand, they see your extended hand, ignore it, and put the money on the counter, right below your hand. What the fuck is this about? You obviously saw my extended hand. How come you didn't just put the money in it? I'm not a leper. I'm not fucking diseased in any way. And trust me, if I was, I'd grab the opportunity to take the day off faster than the time it took me to call you a cunt when you approached the counter. Ugh. But anyway, here's your change. <laughs> So this time, a customer decides to pay with a card. Not a problem at all, love. Pop it into the machine there. Hmm, it's come up as declined, I'm afraid. Your machine must be broken. Maybe, it's been perfectly fine all day though, but I'll try a different machine. Sorry, it seems to have been declined again. All your machines must be broken. Hmm, it's a possibility, but seeing as they've been working all day and will continue to work long after you're gone, is it completely out of the realm of possibility that it's in fact you that's broke? Is you not having money so far-fetched? Look, if this happens to you, a simple, ah shit, will do. You're speaking to a cashier here. These jobs don't pay exceptionally well, so we're all too familiar with not having money. And when your card gets declined, I'm not standing there thinking that you're going to go home to your cardboard box on the street and offer blowies to passerbys for a fiver. No, I'll just assume you did have money in your bank the last time you checked, and an internet bill or something got taken out in the meantime that you forgot about, happens to the best of us. So stop claiming the machine is broke because it just makes me think you're a cunt, when if you just said bollocks, I'm broke, I'd give you that I've been there nod, and forget all about this whole thing in a matter of minutes. <laughs> I used to work in a place called Extravision. It was a DVD slash electronic store. I'm mentioning this because this is not really applicable to like a general store. But I remember you'd have people coming in three, two, or even one day before Christmas looking to buy the newest console. Every year was a different console, but for the sake of this video, we'll just say it's called the Box Station 3. And that would play out something like this. Hey, could I get a Box Station 3 off you, please? Sure. Do you have your pre-order receipt? What? No, I didn't pre-order it. I just want to buy it outright. Oh, I'm sorry. We're actually completely sold out of the BS3s at the moment. We won't have them back till early January. What? How are you sold out of them? What am I supposed to tell my kids on Christmas Day? Okay, to answer your first question, it's only a couple of days to Christmas, and believe it or not, you're not the only person looking for the newest game and console for Christmas. Bit of a shocker, I know. But as a result, it's in high demand, and we're already sold out of them all. Unless, of course, you pre-ordered one, which you didn't. And to answer your second question, on Christmas Day, you can tell your child that Daddy is a useless prick who didn't have the foresight to pre-book the most popular console of the year. And even though it's completely daddy's fault, daddy blamed all his shortcomings on the cashier in the shop. Now I don't want to rant about how women are different to men or give any broad negative generalization about women. It's backwards thinking, it's wrong, and it's just not what this video is about. All I'll say is, they're cunts. Okay, granted not all women, but this is a thing that only happens when you're serving a woman, or a weird man. You ring everything up, you tell them the price, then they proceed to spend the next 10 minutes rummaging around in their fucking handbags looking for their purse. Like for fuck sake, how are you so ill prepared for this? Shops take money in exchange for goods and services, why is this catching you off guard? And it wouldn't be so bad if your handbag wasn't the size of a fucking bin liner. Seriously ladies, what the fuck is in there? Men will venture to the moon and the deepest oceans, but I don't know a man that's willing to venture inside a woman's handbag. The size of the things. I wouldn't be surprised if they contained the remains of an ex-boyfriend that went mysteriously missing. But anyway, what's worse is you're pissing off everybody that's standing behind you in the queue. I have to deal with enough angry bastards on a daily basis as is. I don't need you adding to the equation. <laughs> This is just a quick one. Don't hand me balled up or crumpled up notes. This is annoying. That manky fucking note has to go comfortably into my till. So take the time to unfold it before giving it to me or I'm going to return the favour. Weirdly, I get in a lot of arguments with customers. I don't know why. I'm a perfectly pleasant cashier that enjoys the company of customers no matter how rude they <laughs> Yeah, couldn't get through that with a straight face. Okay, if I'm honest, I love having confrontations with customers. It's the only time I get to vent my frustrations on them. And making them feel like idiots is a feeling that could only be matched by a bag of hard narcotics while giving your worst enemy's girlfriend the old huckle book. But almost every argument I get into with a customer ends the same way. The customer storms off and states loudly, I won't be coming back here again. Like it's the ultimate comeback. Like I'm going to drop to my knees and say, No, come back. I'm so sorry. <laughs> 
I'm nothing without you. But how is that a good line? You've basically made a promise to me that I will never have to deal with your shit again. If anything, you're giving me good news. Besides, do they honestly think by not returning to this shop that's going to make any impact on the business whatsoever? Do they actually think somebody in the business is going to be sitting there and teary-eyed? <laughs> I missed him so much. <laughs> I'm not sure how the rest of the world does this, but here in Ireland, there's a government levy in place, so people have to pay 22 cent for a plastic bag. Apparently it's okay to make shit of the environment if you pay 22 cent for the privilege of it. But this plastic bag levy has been in place since 2002, but yet I still have customers complain to me about it 15 years on. They'd have a huge pile of shit with them at the counter, and you'd ask them, would you like a bag? To which they reply, do you charge for a bag? Yes. 22 cent. Now this is where they act like no other shop ever charged them for a bag and this is the first time it's ever happened to them. And they say something like, ridiculous charging for a bag. Firstly, we are not charging for a bag, the government is. We have no control over this whatsoever. Secondly, it's 22 fucking cent. Are you seriously planning on juggling all your shit out your car so you don't have to pay 22 cent? And thirdly, you've bought roughly about a pound of chocolate. And I'd argue you need a bag a lot more than you need that chocolate, you fat old bitch. The sheer fucking insanity of some of these fucking people. These customers can be so fucking stupid. Help me. Get me away from all these stupid cunts. Just subscribe to my channel. I don't want to deal with these cunts anymore. <laughs>